Hello everyone, today we're at the Immunity Therapy Center, ITC, and it's always a pleasure for me to talk with Dr. Carlos Bautista, who's the founder of ITC, and today we're going to talk about hyperthermia therapy. Doctor, Hi. again, thank you, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, <laughs> thank you for coming here. <laughs> so nice to see you, no thank you for receiving us. And um, we're gonna start uh, with, well, first question of course, and what is the hyperthermia therapy and how does it work? Well, hyperthermia is a therapy that is well known, okay, it's used, it's um, to increase either body temperature to around 104 Fahrenheit and or uh, in a localized way directly to solid tumors uh, to, uh, to heat the tumors to around 104 uh, Fahrenheit. So, so yeah, it's a, it's a um, treatment that has been used for cancer for a very long time. It has a very long history and was, was one of the first treatments that was used to treat cancer actually. Later on, they come, well, the chemotherapy and all mm -hmm. these other treatments, but hyperthermia was used since Roman times to treat uh, cancer. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, great. And uh, what type of uh, hyperthermia therapies are available and how they differ? Yeah, well, like I mentioned, there's two types of whole mm -hmm. body. There's the whole body hyperthermia where you increase body temperature to around 104, basically you develop, you create a fever mm -hmm. under controlled circumstances. Okay. Uh, and the other type is localized hyperthermia where you, uh, through different methods, just uh, locally increase uh, temperature directly where the tumor or where the, where the tumor is. So those are, they're different devices, different ways mm -hmm. of doing it, but those uh, hyperthermia is divided in those two ways of doing it. Okay, mm -hmm. um, thank you. And um, what are the potential benefits of hypothermia therapy for cancer treatment, of course? Uh, well, there's different benefits, okay? Mm -hmm. Hyperthermia can be used alone or in combination with radiation treatments or chemotherapy, mm -hmm. okay? How it works is because well known that cancer cells being kind of a primitive cell, they don't tolerate uh, temperatures. So they are destroyed at temperature of 104 Fahrenheit. So you want to, that's how it works. Either mm -hmm. you want to do it through whole body or you want to do it in a localized way. We do both here. Mm -hmm. we, we do the whole body hyperthermia and the local hyperthermia. And uh, it gives us very good result, even as a therapy alone. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And um, what are the potential risks or side effects associated with hypothermia therapy? Well, the, the risks could be like low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're increasing body temperature to, the, to those levels, your blood pressure can go down, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, patient needs to be in, a, in good condition in general because it's a, it's a high level of stress that you submit the body to. The local hyperthermia a little less, but whole body hyperthermia, it, it can have some, some uh, probability or maybe a little bit of, of, of risk, even though it's minimum. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mentioned, it could be the more than anything, uh, the low blood pressure, that's why we are checking vital signs throughout the entirety of the hyperthermia session, whole body. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And um, how hypothermia therapy is typically, tip, lo voy a repetir. How hypothermia therapy is typically administered and what is the duration of the treatment? Normally, the whole body hyperthermia, it's a special device. Mm -hmm. Ours comes from Germany and um, it's a chamber where your body is in and your head is out. And normally, normal sessions are about 90 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. uh, we are checking, there's a nurse with the patient all the time and, and they're monitoring vital signs like I mentioned. The local hyperthermia, we use a non-coterm device which is, which is a, a, a device that is going to penetrate into tissues. Mm -hmm. to, to heat the tumor area, the solid tumor area, 
And normally this vary from 30 minutes to 60 minutes, depends on, on, on how deep the tumor is or the area that you want to treat. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, doctor. And uh, well, what types of cancer are most commonly treated with hypothermia therapy and how successful is the treatment? Solid tumors, you know, it could be from anywhere, but hyperthermia works better in solid tumors, by that I mean, for example, leukemia, those kind of things. Uh, it's a different way of treating them, okay. but any type of cancer that has a solid tumor, uh, it, it responds well to, 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 ther to treatments, uh, to hyperthermia. Depends a lot the, the, the uh, percentage of, of, um, of, of success with the therapy. Uh, depends a lot on what type of cancer you're treating. Mm -hmm. Depends a lot on the stage of the cancer, the, the general condition of the patient. But in general, it is very, it's very well tolerated and it has a very good response in, in um, alone or in combination with other treatments. Okay, because mm -hmm. actually that was <laughs> the, yeah. the other question that I have. Can hypothermia therapy can be used in combination with other cancer treatments? Yes, yeah. yeah. Here, hyperthermia is just part of the whole program. Mm -hmm. We stimulate the, actually hyperthermia also, another benefit will be to, to they will stimulate, you know, your immune system. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's in, we use it in combination with immunotherapy. We use it in combination with all the other treatments that we have available here at ITC. Okay, that's good to know that. And um, are there any factors that will make a patient ineligible for hypothermia therapy? Well, if patient is already too advanced, you know, in, in bad general condition, already having problems with uh, blood pressure, things like that, uh, obviously those will be uh, not a good candidate. Uh, other than that, uh, the majority of patients either can do either whole body or local hyperthermia. Okay, doctor, and how does hypothermia therapy compare to other alternative cancer treatment? Well, it's not compare. Like mm -hmm. I mentioned, it is, you can use all of them in combination, okay? Mm -hmm. Because, well, hyperthermia will address the issue of destroying, destroying cancer cells by increasing temperature. But for example, we combine it with myomagnetic therapy, mm -hmm. we combine it with bioresonance, so they complement each other, okay? okay. So, so you want to, to, to increase uh, or add different treatment to increase the, the, the chances of, of success. So, so definitely, what I can answer to that, that it's a good uh, factor, a good part of all the treatments that we do here. Excellent. And it is as beneficial as other treatments as well. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Uh, and uh, what ongoing research is being done to improve the effectiveness and safety of hypothermia therapy? There's, there's a lot of research done already. Mm -hmm. You can Google a lot of hyperthermia uh, articles that have been published already. The majority of them conventionally are done in combination with radiation treatment or with chemotherapy. I actually conducted a research uh, a few years ago by hyperthermia alone with excellent results. Okay, mm -hmm. well that is great. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much, doctor, again. Thank it's always you. a pleasure. Thank you, and thank you for joining us here at ITC in Baja Winter to the South. Thank you, bye bye. <laughs>